Good night, sweetie. Make sure to get some sleep for our big day in Rome tomorrow. Good night, Mommy. There's no place like Rome. There's no place like Rome. There's no place like Rome. Benvenuto a Roma. Welcome to Rome. I'm in Rome already? No, silly. I'm a fairy. I interrupted your dreams to send you on a magical adventure through Rome. Oh, boy. Come on. First stop, the Colosseum. Welcome to the Colosseum. Formerly known as the Flavian Amphitheater, there are two gladiators fighting now. Why was this built? It was built for free entertainment for the people. I'm a convicted criminal and she's a slave. Whoever wins this battle gets to fight again. The Colosseum was built in 69 AD. It was four stories tall and seats 145,000 people who sat in four different sections and one more for the emperor. Where am I? You have the palestra. This is where exercising, boxing, wrestling, and running take place. Come here, I'll show you how the bathhouse. Bathhouses serve as daily centers for exercising, bathing, and even socializing. After exercising, I usually massage my master's body. Next, we'll be going into pools to relax her. In Rome, the wealthy usually ate different items in the poor. The meals were typically very simple. Lunch include bread, salad, cheese, nuts, and cold leftover meat. Dinner items featured mostly vegetables and meats as well. Those are the only types of meat. You will not get hungry in Rome. You won't go thirsty in Rome either. Romans are considered some of the greatest aqueduct builders. We surpassed many other cities because of our water supply from aqueducts. Currently, we have as many as nine aqueducts bringing about 85 million gallons of water a day. Over 200 Roman colonies have aqueducts, and that's what this tube is used to transport water from its source to its main distribution area. Right now, we're in the famous aqueduct, Front du Gard. A system of road was built for the military and for Romans' travels. Sailors straight went over hills and were built of volcanic ash and concrete, great for traveling. The first road was the Appian Way, southeast to Capua. It was originally 134 miles long, but later 234 miles was added to the road. It's great for trading and merchants. All roads lead to Rome, so no matter how you're getting here, I know you'll find your way to the best city in Italy.